Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to create the face tracking effect you see in Drake and Travis Scott's Sicka Mode music video and in the Beats by Drake commercial. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. With that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here, we're in Adobe After Effects and right here I have a video of Roddy Rich. And basically I want to just track his face while he walks right here. It's going to be like a three to five second track. I wouldn't recommend to track someone's face or like an object for like 30 seconds because it takes very long to even do a three to five second clip, but you can do that if you want to. It just takes a lot longer. So the first thing you want to do is press window and press tracker right here and make sure it's checked. So right here I have it on the side. So if we click on the clip, um, we can see the settings right here. You want to press stabilize motion. And basically what will happen is this track point will um, appear right here. It basically, you want to select what you want to track. So I'm going to track um, his face right here. You want to just widen the parameters. I'm going to go back to where I want to start. It's like around here. We're going to just put it on his face. You want to track something that's going to be visible throughout the entire clip. Like pretend we were tracking the mic, but then halfway through the clip, the mic just disappeared because it goes out of frame. Then it wouldn't really know what it tracked. So I'm tracking his face just because his face is going to be in the clip the whole time. Now, basically what we want to do is press analyze forward and it'll go through each individual frame and it'll set a keyframe. So I'm going to press play right here and it'll go through. And if I pause right here, you can press U and you'll see the keyframes pop up right here. Basically what it does is automates the process for you um, so that you don't have to set each individual keyframe for position. You can see sometimes it's a little bit off. You see what that does. It just went down a little bit. So let me just move it back. You can do it individually if you want to. We're going to press analyze again. And as long as it's around his face, I'm fine with it, even if it moves a little bit. So it takes a long time, obviously, because it has to go through the entire process of going frame by frame. So if I see it mess up a little bit, I'll just move it back and then analyze it again. And basically what it will do is overwrite anything ahead of it. I think sometimes it looks better if the track point changes, um, like maybe from his cheek to his eye or something like that. I think that looks cool sometimes. So if we press pause here, you can see there's more. And so far we've taken up like one second, not even one second yet. So in this part of the clip, I think it's a lot easier because his face is sort of facing towards the camera and mo more of his face is showing so so you can see when the light changes it's a little bit off because it doesn't really know what to track because the colors and stuff change so i'm just gonna move it back down and hopefully it readjusts itself so far so good let's just say like his hand goes over his face it might track the hand now so that's why you want to make sure that you know the subject is visible at all times and right here, it's getting a little bit too low. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. The closer to his eye, then we're going to press play again. So right now we're just done. So that's about eight seconds. I got him walking back as well, just to make the video a little bit longer. So now basically what you want to do is when you're done, you just want to press apply select X and Y and press OK. And now you can see what that does. Now you'll see that there's a black bars and stuff like that. Like there's a background. Um, basically, you just want to crop in. So you want to hide this, unhide it, and then go to transform. You want to press scale and then you want to just scale in. And then you want to go through the cl uh, clips and you want to see if there's black bars at any point. That means you have to scale in even more. So there's going to be a lot of cropping involved. You might want to move the position up a little bit here. And basically the last thing you want to do. So let's just hide this. You want to press on the second blank box right here. Basically what it does is add motion blur in between every keyframe. So starting at this point, you can see he's in the frame the whole time. And yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.